Now, Monday is World Environment Day. The African Union has renewed its commitment to work towards protecting the environment of Africa. The Continental Organization wants to make Africa a place of economic development through industrial growth with minimal or no harm to the environment. In a message to mark World Environment Day, Josef Sacco, the AU Commissioner for Rural Economy, called for the world to continue its solidarity towards implementing the Paris Climate Change Agreement. Africa is fully committed to preserve the environment. We sign most of our country, we sign the Paris Agreement because we believe that the less pollution we produce, the better, the better for the future generation. And for us as well, because we are still on this planet. So we are fully committed to respect the Paris Agreement. We are fully committed to go and work with our development, uh, development partner to see if we can uh, uh, strategize, put in place our strategy of adaptation and mitigation. Meanwhile, a charity drive among students in the Nigerian capital, Abuja, is trying to confront environmental challenges while providing an answer to a cleaner city. It comes as Nigeria joins the rest of the world in marking World Environment Day. Here's more from Sophia Adengo in Abuja. Connecting people with nature. That's the theme for this year's World Environment Day. And no one seems more suited in driving that message here at this primary school than popular Nigerian actress Tonto DK. DK says environmental conservation among the world's largest population of young people is vital. It is very important for me to get involved with the World Environment Day because it is actually teaching the children how to safeguard their environment, how to connect to nature, and how to keep a healthy and the importance of a clean environment and how it can affect their everyday lives. More than 70% of Nigeria's population relies on natural resources and a high dependence on wood fuels. Organizers say by raising the alarm about the environmental state of the planet and depleting trees, they can affect positive changes. Many of the students here seem to be catching on. We will keep our environment clean and safeguard our planet. It's a good thing. And I've learned many things today. I did not know how to plant before, but now they have taught me how to plant. I can plant many trees. I've learned how to keep my environment clean. I've also learned that if my environment is not clean, I must fall sick and I won't be able to go to school. And if I'm not able to go to school, well, I won't learn. Abuja City is urbanizing quickly and the students are being taught the importance of sorting and recycling toxic waste. As part of a positive environmental action, this school is putting in place a pathway in reclaiming their immediate environment while also recognizing their contribution as global citizens. But as the global debate on climate change heightens, with the withdrawal of the U.S. from the Paris Agreement in recent days, activists like DK say more Nigerians are taking environmental concerns seriously. I think that Nigerians do believe in climate change because of the precautions that we see taking these days. Um, for instance, people don't get to burn um, rubbish anyhow to, for the smoke and flames to get into the air for people to breathe. And we see that the government is actually doing a lot of things by stopping um, illegal refineries. I saw that in, in Delta states. I saw that I saw in, in few states. So yes, I would say that Nigerians are very open and have accepted the change for climate change. And with the help of a familiar face, Organizers hope to leave a lasting impression on the pupils in underlying environmental responsibility for future generations. Sophia Dango for CGTN, Abuja, Nigeria.